guys welcome back to my channel i am gonna have to talk a little bit low because i just put my daughter down to bed today's video is going to be my 2021 christmas home tour so i am purposely filming this video at night number one because it's the quietest time of the day in the house to film but i feel like everything just glows better all of my Christmas decorations just glow, if that makes any sense. If you are new to my channel, we live in a 1997 mobile home that we have been renovating. And this year, I'm really happy with my Christmas decorations. We did something a little bit different. I'm usually a traditional decorator with reds and greens and golds. But this year, I did something a little bit different and I went with chic neutral. Okay, so we will start here with the TV stand, or actually I'll start with this basket here. So this basket I think is from Ross or maybe TJ Maxx. I want to say Ross. I got it many years ago, probably a good four years ago now. I was using it for the kids toys, but I have since cleaned all that out, put them back where they belong, and I've just repurposed it as a like cozy little pillow blanket basket we did have our shoe basket here but it was just tacky sitting there with all of our other decorations so i wanted to move that i've actually got it tucked right there in the hall closet and um like i said i just put some pillows and blankets i just pulled pillows that we already had here at home um this pillow here actually has a little red truck on the back of it but i just turned it around this year just kind of threw that together I thought it looked a little bit cozier than the shoe basket coming here we have this garland this is from Hobby Lobby I'm pretty sure um, I got it two years ago it's battery operated but um, because it's right here in front of the TV I really wanted like a more subtle glow and not something so bright as the Christmas lights so I just took some fairy lights and I weaved it in and out of the garland so we just have that and then these little houses are from Hobby Lobby this year um, they are tea light houses but I'm not gonna do the tea lights in them I'm really afraid especially with little ones um, being this height and everything I would rather just not do that so we just have the little houses there and I really like how that looks I feel like it looks like a little village um, we've got these gold trees here I love the color of these these came from Hobby Lobby this year they had a more silver one and then they had a more like gold color this was the perfect in between color that I was looking for it's like a champagne color so I put one on this side of the TV and then one on this side our TV stand by the way is from Wayfair if I can find it I'll link it down below we bought this when we redid the living room earlier this year so like I said if I can find it I'll link it down below because I do get a lot of questions about it so back there I just have that little sign that says happy holidays that I think is from the Dollar General I think it's been a couple of years since I bought that um, we just have our barn wax warmer there that's from uh, Walmart we have this Merry Christmas it's from Hobby Lobby this year um, and then we've got our stocking so I've got three actually four of these off-white ones and then I got one of these so I'm actually looking for one more stocking hook to hang up I've only got four of these and they came from Hobby Lobby I went back to Hobby Lobby this year to look for them and they don't have them anymore so they had the match and I can't find the exact match anywhere else so um, I've got the fifth one stuffed down in there we'll pull it out and you know we'll use it on Christmas but for now I just have the four stockings on this shelf these two things are from Hobby Lobby this says Noel and then we've got some more of those trees and down here on this bottom shelf we just have some Christmas books for the kids I got all of these from Ollie's 
This one is A Christmas Carol. We have a Rudolph. That's a classic. We have A Christmas Gift for Santa. And then we have Muddy Paul's First Christmas. This one is super cute. Um, so I just have those down there for when the kids want to read a book. This rocking chair is actually my great grandmother's and it was passed down to us. So a lot of you have asked me how come we haven't painted it or anything and it's because we really just want to keep it in its original state. It's really good quality. There's nothing wrong with it at all. And personally, I kind of like the worn look, but yeah, it's in its original state and we just, would like to keep it there just because it was, you know, my great grandmother's. Um, and then I have this pillow that's from Hobby Lobby, I think. A lot of you asked me about our couch covers, so I will have those linked down below. They are from Amazon. Um, we got one for the love seat, and then we also have one for the, the couch. Some people don't like them. They think that it looks like sheets thrown over the couch, but personally, I like that. I think it adds to like that farmhouse look, and they're so easy to put on and off. So we have small kids. We have a dog in the house, so it's really nice to be able to pull them off and throw it into the wash. Onto the throw pillows. So we just use the pillows that we already have. These are the pillows that came with the couch and we just bought slip covers to go over them. So I will link these down below. These are from Amazon. So I got two of these. Well, no, it's a little bit different. That one's a snowflake. I got two of these white ones the inserts for these and the covers are from amazon so and i think we can reuse these two different seasons it doesn't have to be christmas over here on this couch so these are my favorites i got one off-white it looks like a sweater um and then one tan so these are just a cable knit pillow covers they are a little bit too big for my pillows but it's completely fine and I got one white snowflake like the one over there and then oh another snowflake okay so I got three of those total moving on to the coffee table area this rug is from was it Big Lots or Ollie's I want to say Ollie's. We've had it for a really long time and we actually had it stored away and then whenever we redid the living room it happened to go perfect with our decor so we pulled it back out and then for the table this used to be a like maroon brown color and I painted it white and distressed it. This was gifted to my mom many years ago. I'm not totally sure where it's from but it does have a glass center that pops out. This runner is from Big Lots. And then here in the center, this tray is from Hobby Lobby. I got three of these battery operated candles because like I said, little ones. <laughs> so um, this tree is from Hobby Lobby. This is from Hobby Lobby. It's got a little um, candle in there um, or you can put a tea light. And then I got this Joy Sun from Hobby Lobby. Moving on to our tree. So we'll start with the skirt. I got this from Hobby Lobby, but honestly, I regret it because it's kind of silky and so it slides around really easy. And I'm trying to keep it like bunched up around the tree and it's not really happening. So what I could have done is I could have gotten a white blanket and just put it around and I think that would have stayed better. So for the tree, we went with a pencil tree this year. We really wanted something that wasn't gonna take up as much 
space as our old tree. If you remember our old tree, it was a normal size, but we live in a small mobile home and so it took up a pretty good bit of space in the living room. But this particular tree came from Walmart. If I can find it, I'll put a link down below. But I reused a lot of my gold balls that I already had because my theme before was like reds and golds and greens, you know, the traditional Christmas colors. Um, but I went to Hobby Lobby and I found some like champagne color balls, some little mini silver balls to add in there. Um, these glitter balls were reused. I got these, maybe five or six of these and just poked those throughout the tree. Let me tell you though, the ribbon, do not do this on a pencil tree. I wish I would have just wrapped the ribbon around the tree, but what I did, and I didn't know, but I cut it into pieces and I was trying to make it look like it was flowing in and out of the tree, but they're falling off really easy. They just don't stay. So um, yeah, there's a warning. If you are gonna do that to a pencil tree, just beware, they do come off easily. Like I said, next year, I'll make sure to wrap my ribbon and not do the pieces. This ornament here is from Hobby Lobby. One child, one star, one night. I love that ornament. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby. These gold angels are from the Dollar Tree. I got those year before last. And then our star up there, <laughs> it's from Hobby Lobby, but I couldn't get it on there very well. I don't know what it is, but it's leaning. It's been leaning since I put it on there. So yeah, I'm just leaving it going with the flow. These little pearl colored balls are from Hobby Lobby. I always like to mix ball sizes when I'm decorating a Christmas tree. I just like the way that looks. Um, and these bigger gold balls are from Hobby Lobby as well. So yeah. Oh, these are from Hobby Lobby too. But forewarning, they do break easy. When I was decorating the tree, I had dropped one and it broke right in half, but it glued together really easy. And honestly, you can't tell that it was ever broken. So this little snowman is from Hobby Lobby. This ornament here is my grandmother's. Um, she passed away. A few years back but we put that on the tree every year in memory of her and this ornament here is from Hobby Lobby so yeah that's our Christmas tree I'm gonna show you guys our coffee bar so when I decorated this originally um, it looked a little bit different but we have since done some things that are new so we got this this was gifted to us um, and I think it's from Tractor Supply. <laughs> the tag's still on it. Yeah, I think it's Tractor Supply. It spins just like my Lazy Susan that I had up here. We actually moved that to the kitchen table over there. Um, but we've got our hot cocoa, some candy canes for the kids. This cup is from TJ Maxx, I believe. We got some hot cocoa bombs. We got some marshmallows. Right here, I got this gingerbread house from TJ Maxx was this year. I got that. This runner is also from TJ Maxx. This little house, I think I got this from, from maybe Hobby Lobby year before last, um, but it's supposed to light up. I think the batteries are dead. Um, so yeah, this coffee thing, I'm not sure where that's from. I'll have to ask my mom and let you guys know. Maybe on the screen I can put a text pop up, but um, she that was gifted to her so we just keep all of our hot chocolate pods um, we got some coffee pods and um, that's sugar we've got some um, stevia or Splenda whatever you want to call it this is my mr. sticks um, cinnamon and sugar I like to put this in my coffee sometimes and yeah this is tea but yeah it's just a really simple hot cocoa coffee station guys well thank you so much for joining me and watching my christmas home tour i really hope you guys enjoyed if you made it this far leave a butterfly emoji in the comments down below that just lets me know that you made it this far into the video so thank you guys for joining me and i'll see you in the next one bye